good evening good evening friends good evening and welcome back to weekend classes okay today we have saturday so welcome once again to weekend classes from my exam coaching so in the previous classes we were doing pyq for quantitative aptitude previous year question papers for quantitative aptitude and uh, this class we will be solving some of the important questions for reasoning very important and question selected from previous cgle examination that is staff selection commission combined graduate level examination previous year questions for reasoning so kindly share with your friends and let us go to the class let us start okay and if you have any comments kindly do it in the comment box so that i can read all the comments and i can answer all your doubts clarifications everything okay without wasting much time let us go to the questions and uh, as usual let me tell you if you are new to my channel i request all of you to kindly subscribe for this channel we are uploading videos for reasoning english and quantitative aptitude regularly in this channel and from next week onwards we will be uploading uh, latest syllabus and questions based on the latest syllabus for staff selection commission and ibps both clerical as well as po so staff selection commission examination both tier 1 and tier 2 questions will be solved here quantitative aptitude reasoning and english the complete course you will be getting in this channel my exam coaching it is absolutely free you need not to pay anything we are not running any paid course in this channel now okay we are not running any paid course in this channel now all the questions and all the previous year question papers courses videos whatever resources we are giving to you is absolutely free okay and i am sure this is more than sufficient for you to crack your examination we will be completing the complete concept building exercises here we will be completing the questions previous year question papers here and we also will be doing the concept clearing classes doubt clearing classes everything will be done in this uh, channel okay so stay tuned and once again i am requesting you if you are new to my channel kindly press subscribe and press the bell button so that all the notification without missing anything will definitely come to you thank you so much thank you for your support thank you for watching my videos so let us go to the questions and the today's questions all everything is selected from reasoning part okay very interesting and understand the concept and it will be very useful for you okay so let us go to the question so here is your first question ssc cgle 2016 question question paper selected from ssc cgle 2016 four words are given to you four letter groups are given to you you have to find out what you have to find out the odd word odd odd letter group from the given alternatives which one is odd so students i'll tell you whenever you have this type of uh, questions coming to your uh, question paper out of this four group three will be of the same type one will be different three will be of the same type and one will be different and you need to find out which is the different one that is odd one odd one you need to find out so whenever you do all this type of questions all these are alphabet based questions so we have a uh, code we have a code which we will be using to find out the number uh, position of each alphabet quickly for example let us tell you a b c d up to z when i count there are 26 letters and suddenly if i ask you what is 10th letter or 12th letter or 17th letter or 21st letter normally people who don't know this code they actually what they do they start counting from a a is 1 b is 2 c 3 d 4 e 5 like that they start counting but we need not to count like that if you start counting you are you are spending a lot of time you are wasting your time so we have a formula the code is called ejoti understand this code this called code is called ejoti what is ejoti ejoti stands for we have e stands for fifth number that is fifth letter a b c d e e is 5 and j is 10th letter o is 15th letter t is 20th letter and y is 25 letter so suddenly if i ask you 
what is 19th letter so 19th letter will be we know 20th letter is t so 19 will be what is before t before t is s so s will be 19 so you need not to count from a b c d you can connect with this code suddenly if i ask you what is f f we know f comes after e so f will be 6 what is k k will be 11 because we know j is equal to 10 so after j k will come so k will be 11 o is 15 15 so what is p p is 16 so like that we can easily found out so this is called ejot is the code word to find out the position the number position of each alphabet now let us use this uh, concept here to find out which one is odd here so let us write the first one first one is a e f and j right when i say a e f j what you can do here is you can see a to e a to e it is plus 4 e to f it is plus 1 f to j again it is plus 4 a b c d e then e to f plus 1 f to j g h i j plus 4 similarly let us see the next one a o p t so here also we can say k to o it is plus 4 o to 1 o to p it is plus 1 and p to t it is plus 4 when i take the next one u y z d it is after u u v w x y so it is plus 4 y and z plus 1 z to t z to t is again plus 4 but when i take the last one e h i l it is plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 see the difference everywhere we are getting plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and only in the last code group of word letters we are getting plus 3 that means they are different from the other three what is different from the other three they are called odd so we found out what is odd odd one is the last option option d so accordingly you can mark the correct option as option d why it is odd it is odd because everywhere it is the difference is plus four plus one plus four plus four plus one plus four plus four plus one plus four only in the last one we got plus 3 plus 1 plus 3. So that is why that is different from others. So it is odd one out. Kindly understand the concept. And this is very, very important for you. Ijoti. Ijoti is a code to understand the letter position of different letters. Number. Number position of different letters. Hope it is clear to you. Kindly note. And then let us go to the next question. Okay, so this is your next question. Again, same type of question, but here instead of uh, letters, some numbers are given. And what is the relation between these two numbers? Accordingly, which two numbers group is different from the other three? Here, so here also we have to find out what we have to find out the old man out, right? So let us start like this: eighty-one to 243 so 81 to 243 if you multiply this uh, by what by 3 we are getting 243 so you are multiplying this by 3 to get 243 16 and 64 16 when you multiply by 4 you are getting 64 next is 64 and 192 64 when you multiply by 3 you will get 192 25 and 75 25 when you multiply by 3 you will get 75 so now let me tell you when we have done this here we are multiplying by 3 
here we are multiplying by 3 here we are multiplying by 3 only in this number we are multiplying by 4 so there is a difference in this from other three numbers so we got the old man out old man is 64 16 64 accordingly we will mark the correct option as option b why they are out because the they are old because the number multiplied by 16 is 4 all other numbers it is 3 so this is a different so they are different kindly not okay so let us go to the next question so the next question is arrange the following words as per the english dictionary and find the last word find out the last word english dictionary you have to arrange it in the alphabetical order the same way which is given in a dictionary and find the last word so when when we have this type of questions you can see l e l e l e l e then all these things will come all these things are starting with the l e so leave that l e everything start with the l e so you take l e now remaining this is a this is a this is a and the, this one is s so obviously s will come after a s will come after a so of uh, this letter this word l e s s will be the last l e s s will be the last from the option directly you can find out the answer l e s s less will be the last so accordingly you can mark the correct option as option c now let me tell you this let us arrange it in the same order first l e all letters l e l e and l e then here it is a a will come a will come a and next letter is s when you leave the third letter next is n v s f n v s f First F will come, then N will come, then S will come, then V will uh, V will come. Okay. So last only one here we have E. So this is the first. This is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. So, when you arrange it in the same way it appears in a dictionary, the last word will be less, L-E-S-S, -S, less. That is what asked. But in examination, you need not to arrange all these things like this. You can see initially two letters are common l e l e l e and l e if they are common go to the third letter third letter is a here a here a here and s here so obviously s will come after all a so s will be the last word so directly from the options you can mark l e s s as the correct option understood so understand all this concept and these type of questions are very very common in a very competitive examination like c g l e and all this type of questions are very very common so when you practice more and more questions like this you need not to go for any coaching you need not to pay big amount as a fee and getting uh, joining for big big courses not required these all are the questions selected from previous year question papers and this type of questions will be asked in your examination so this is enough for you to practice take more and more question and practice and increase your speed you will be getting all the complete syllabus absolutely free here okay take your preparation to the next level and do comment so that i can prepare more and more videos for you and your support is more important for me understood so kindly subscribe and support so let us go to the next question So this is your next question a word is given to you which is the word given segregation a word is given to you segregation 
from this word in the options four words are given which cannot be formed which cannot be formed so let us see the word given is segregation now if i say the first letter the first word if i take eager e a g e r so i can take e a g e r so this word is permitted this is this can be formed if i take c if i take c i can take s e a so this word is also for possible if i take gate gate means g a t and e this word is also possible if i take nation so one n is here n a t i n a t i o second n is not available here we have how many n one and two n's we have two n here but in your given word segregation we have only one n we don't have two n that means this word nation is not possible to form from this word segregation so what is the correct answer option d option d answer option d nation is the correct answer this word cannot be formed all other words we can form from segregation this word cannot be formed so that is the correct answer kindly note and then let us go to the next question okay so here is your next question a series of numbers are given which one is wrong number in the given series okay so let us see a group of numbers are given okay let us write the numbers 7 and 72 which number is wrong wrong number we need to find out so let us take this way if i multiply this 7 into 8 i will get 7 into 8 56 56 when i multiply by 8 i will get 6 into 4 448 i should get 448 448 when i multiply by 8 i will get 3584 3584 3584 when i multiply by 8 i will get 27682 28672 so everywhere everywhere you can see the series everywhere when you multiply by 8 you are getting 56 and when you multiply by 8 here you should get 448 whereas in the series it is 447 so this is wrong 448 when you multiply by 8 you will get this one 3584 when you multiply by 8 you will get it 28672 so which number is wrong in the given series 447 why because this number should have been 448 so 447 is written wrongly so we can say 447 is the wrong answer accordingly we will mark the correct option as option d 447 simply you understand the concept what is the relation between first two numbers what is the relation between first two numbers accordingly the same relation you apply for the remaining numbers you will get one number which is wrong in the series take out that wrong number and mark the option correctly simple please note this i hope this is very clear to you this is a small video a quick video taken the questions taken from the previous year questions from reasoning part and in the next video we will be solving more and more questions in the both reasoning as well as uh, quantitative aptitude Okay so this video I am stopping it here and
we will be solving part 2 and part 3 of reasoning in the upcoming videos so stay tuned okay don't miss those videos there we will be solving almost every questions from the previous year question papers okay here we have solved few questions remaining questions we will be solving in the next video and next class okay so stay tuned and if you are not subscribed kindly requesting you to subscribe okay so stay tuned and do comment so that i can make more and more videos as per your requirement and i can upload for you okay so take your preparations to the next level stay blessed take care bye bye